selling is an important part of our day-to-day -day activities. Some of us go to the market, some to the supermarket, some to the mall. The many of us do ours online, which is pretty convenient, but as is downside. When it comes to confrontation, I think it is easier to confront people when the buying or exchange of services is physical. But when the transaction is online, there's a lot of unprofessional and rubbish treatment given because they know that there is no direct confrontation. I don't understand. The first problem I think that these online vendors have is a texting problem. Cause tell me why you say that you are open from 9 till 4. And trust me, when it is 4, they will not reply you again. So tell me why you are not replying me fast. Eh? I will, I will message you by 10 in the morning, you will reply me by 12 in the afternoon. What is going on? What is happening? Some of them will also be replying with one word. Is this item available? Yes. Is it okay if I should pay for delivery now? Yes. What is that? Yes, this item is available. No, this item is not available now. We will restock in two weeks time. Communicate effectively. Some of them, you ask them three questions. They will reply in two. Like what happens to the remaining one that you have not replied? I'll be asking you, is does delivery take three to five working days you tell me okay how is that the answer to that question how is that the answer to that question some of them are also very rude like i said that they choke them to do the business or force them to do the business and they are passing aggression on you who forced you why are you passing aggression on me why are you being rude damn bloody fool if i'm doing a business and somebody wants to buy from me i'll be so eager to answer them yes this is how we do it oh we want this will you prefer this like some of them will just be mute trust you'll be the only one asking questions what is your problem to the biggest turn off i know you know this one yes we both know it yes very annoying yes that one dm for price you people what is your problem it will look good dm for price eh imagine you go to a mall you go to shop price you want to buy grilled fish or canned drinks and maybe skincare and they don't put the price tag there so you have to be taking every item you want to buy to the counter every time to ask for the price tell me that you will not be annoyed will you go to shop right again no exactly like on behalf of all of us that buy it is very embarrassing for us to come to your dm and you tell us a price that we cannot afford and we'll tell you we'll get back to you are you not tired of hearing we'll get back to you if you put the price there i will be able to know that okay this is not something I, I can afford and i will not enter your dm and most of the time those people that do dm for price their prices are usually outrageous maybe you see a eh, that is supposed to be maybe like 80k you not enter your dm you not tell you you not say i'll get back to you we don't want we are tired we are so tired put price please another issue that i have a problem with is the no return no refund policy i think it's just stupid sorry <laughs> I mean, if you fail somebody, if you fuck up, you should step up. I know that some people might want to take advantage of this. There's one of my friends that sells shoes. She sold a shoe to somebody. The person said size 39. She sent size 39 to the person. Customers, you people too, I don't know what is wrong with you. How will you not know your shoe size? She sent size 39 to the person and the person came out to be like, Oh, I'm my shoe size is size 40, so I'll have to return it. It's not like she returned it immediately. She, fought, she wore it for like two days. Tell me if another person will want to buy a shoe that has been worn two times. No, now I'm not talking about those people. But if you fuck up, if you know that you are the one that made the mistake, you did not deliver what you promised to deliver, I think that you should refund or return or just compensate the person. I think it's just very irresponsible for you to disappoint somebody and not compensate them. So another major issue, what I ordered versus what I got. I just want to say that these online vendors, some of them are very selfish and they are liars. Because why would I see a cloth on your page? The cloth is nice, vibrant, material to make sense. I will tell you, do you have this clothes? Is this still available? You say yes. You even send me pictures in different backgrounds. I will pay for it and you deliver. And the clothes will not turn out to be chiffon. Bad finishing. Like as if it's carpenter that sealed the clothes. Are you, are you okay? Are you not mad like this? No. Are you okay? Some of these air people to do it, they'll say single, double drawn, um, bone straight, 
they will not deliver it. It's not turned to synthetic. You'll be brushing the air like this, it will be shedding. Like, are you okay? Like, when you were packaging that item, how did you feel? Did you feel okay with yourself? Do you people even review yourself? Do you criticize yourself? Do you think that the person that, that received that package was going to pray for you? Because I don't understand. Why do you people why do you people lie? If it's synthetic you are selling, tell us that you are selling synthetic. Eh? Why are you lying? But I did business! Shut up! Shut up! Delivery is also a huge problem. From the price to the actual delivery. I know that the delivery prices are not a fault of the vendor. Most of them are from the logistic company. But some of them are just outrageous and we need to complain, please. How will you tell me that delivery from um Iano Paja to Ikeja is 25? Eh? That one is not it's definitely not GIG that gave you that price. You, you've added your money. Because I will buy a earring of 2000 naira. The money for delivery will be higher for money for earring. And eh? please tell me. Also, I think that the vendors need to know that delivery is your responsibility until you get to the customer. How will you tell me that you are giving me the driver's number or your DHL is bringing it already? So therefore, it is none of your business again. If the, if the, if the goods do not get to me, if the item does not get to me, what am I supposed to complain to? Am I going to be the one that is going to be looking for the driver or I'll be the one that is looking for DHL? Because I've legit bought something from somebody and the person told me that she has dispatched it. She doesn't know where the, where the driver is or there's nothing she can do about it. Will you not call the delivery company? Will you not get through to them to know what is happening? The responsibility of the item is on you until it gets to me. If you have brothers that are working in, in park, tell them that they are thieves. Honestly, I'm not even joking. Because those ones too will be collecting money for a passenger for delivery of a good. Put my goods on the chair, eh? Because my, my, my item is going to be on the dashboard. You'll be collecting, if you are collecting um 500 per head you'll be collecting 500 for my own item one tiny thing like this that you're going to put on that but you collect 500 tell me why they are thieves i know that they will not see this so if you have brothers that are working in park tell them that they are thieves if we even begin to talk about those drivers from now to tomorrow there's a lot to talk about starting from the way they shout they will tell you i'm almost there oh come and collect your package oh if i don't see you there I'll carry your package, I'll be going, they'll be shouting. Guys, I used to have a date with those drivers. I prefer the DHL. They'll be shouting. It's not like the point of collection is beside your house. You will not carry bike in a hurry. You will carry bike, you will go to the place. You will not go and stand under hot sun or sit with somebody. You'll be staying there for like 15 minutes. This is somebody that called you 30 minutes ago and was shouting that he's almost there. He did not see you. And trust me, if they get there and they don't see you, they will carry the package and be going. Those will be shouting unnecessarily. Those people have made me cry. They are a problem. I honestly think that most people that are doing business are just concerned about the money and not the services that they are rendering. <laughs> there should be a balance. You should care for the money as much as the services that you are rendering to people. <laughs> I am not talking on behalf of rude customers. I know some customers are rude. I am not talking on behalf of those ones. I'm talking on behalf of those of us that don't like stress and will not stress you. Please communicate effectively. Be true to your words. Put the price. If you fuck up, step up. This thing is for another, it's for another day. It's for people to refer you and your brand. I think that if you are concerned about your brand and what your brand represents, you'll be very concerned about how you render services to people. Online vendors, do better, please. Do better. Do better.